I'm Kian Lam Ko, and um, I'm a private chef and also the author of redcook.net. And I'm going to show you how to make mugu kai pan. And first, we have to start by slicing the chicken. And I wanted to show you how to slice the chicken very thinly. So take a chicken breast, and the, uh, with a knife, you don't have to use a cleaver, but it, you know a regular uh, a chef knife would do also. Uh, starting from the th thick end of the uh, chicken breast, and use your palm to hold it down and thinly slice pieces of the uh, chicken breast. So that's how you sl uh, cut thin slices of chicken breast. Okay, the um, uh, sliced chicken breast. What I'm going to do with the slices of chicken breast, what I'm going to do is to actually put some uh, marinade in there. The marinade should be about um, half a about half a teaspoon of a uh, salt and about quarter teaspoon of ground white pepper, and we're also going to use the egg white. So uh, this technique actually is called um, velveting. So we're just going to put about the egg white from one egg. Also going to put about two teaspoons of um, uh, cornstarch. And this technique is called velveting. Adding the um, egg white and the uh, cornstarch into a, a chicken marinade. And velveting is a very Chinese technique that actually creates a nice smooth texture on the outside of the uh, protein or chick uh, any kind of meat, chicken or beef or pork, and it, it's, a, it's a very unique way of, of creating um, a nice smooth texture on the outside of the, of the chicken. Now mugu kai pan is actually what we uh, made with what we call a moist stir-fry technique. The difference between moist stir-fry technique and other uh, stir-frying technique is that at the end, when you finish cooking, yeah. when yeah. you finish the dish, there will, uh, there, there will be a definite amount of sauce in the wok. Okay, so we're now we're ready to actually stir-fry the um, bugu kai pan. We'll start by heating up the wok. First, you want to heat up the wok at high heat. And uh, now that it's hot, put about two tablespoons of um, vegetable oil. Get it nice and hot. And with stir fry, you want to make sure that the, hot, the oil is very, very hot. So then you quickly stir fry the chicken first. The Okay, you want to stir fry the meat until it's about three quarter done, which is which means that um, the outside of the chicken is is has all changed color into white, and uh, yet the inside is probably uh, not quite cooked. At this point, you want to scoop out the meat and reserve it. Okay, you can clean the wok if you want, so that it doesn't have all this. Yes, Once you clean the wok, pour, pour another tablespoon of oil, and now we're ready to actually cook the arom aromatics. Oh, put in about three or four slices of ginger, and slice um, garlic from about two uh, small cloves of uh, garlic. Let it cook a little bit. Now you're going to start cooking the uh, vegetables. First, put in the mushrooms. There are about one cup each of the button mushroom and the shiitake mushroom. And you want to continue to stir fry this. And you may, at this point, you may want to pour in just a little bit of liquid. and you actually want to cover it. You want to cover to steam the vegetables. In the meantime, while we're letting it steam, we wanted to put together the sauce. And the sauce is about um, one, quarter, one quarter cup of cooking 
wine, Chinese cooking wine, and um, uh, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and about two tablespoons of oyster sauce. And you also want to put about one tablespoon of cornstarch, one half cup of, one quarter cup of water. Mix all the, uh, the ingredients up, make sure that the uh, cornstarch is completely dissolved. Now that the sauce is made, we should be uh, ready to uh, continue cooking. And the um, mushroom is about done. Then return the chicken. And at the same time, add about one cup of the um, green peppers and one cup of the red peppers. The peppers, you just cut them into uh, big rough pieces. Now, you can actually put all different kinds of vegetables. It doesn't have to be just peppers, but you can put carrots or celery. Um, you know, that would work really well with this um, dish. Okay, you continue stir fry for another two minutes or so. We've been cooking for about two, three minutes. And now we're ready to pour the sauce in there. Okay, that's ready. That's all there is. We can now plate this. and garnish it with uh, a sliced scallion and some cilantro. There you go. That's mugu kaipan. So that's the, my mugu, mugu kaipan and I'm Kian Lam Ko, uh, a private chef and also author of the redcook.net. And thank you for watching adilchef.com and let's get cooking.